Flinders doesn't need to be scattering ashes and neither do you. Flinders spread a rumour you would have clapped for years. I know, that was a lie. Not like your brother Patsy getting caught fingering his arse down the park. That wasn't Patsy. That was her other brother. And well you know it. I have a train to catch. Rory loved loads of places. The canal. Down by the weir. That Nazi sculpture in the park. Yeah. I'd say I'd be happy enough wherever you chuck him. No, he said favourite. Well, where did you throw your parents after they got a belt of that car? The park with the sundial down by the river. Ah, no. That's not really there anymore on account of them building a new bridge over it. The new, new bridge, not the old new bridge, I mean. Rory hated the new, new bridge. Though the town has changed so much that I doubt it'll have the same sentiment as which he intended anyway. Well, he didn't intend on dying young, did he? But we'll make do with what we have. We'll? I'll. Andrew Egan, the fucking vegan! <laughs> what are you messing man? I know you're not. Unless you are, and that's cool. Come here to me, were you up there tonight? What are they like? There's a bit of crack. Some of these open white nights can be a bit hit and miss, you know? It's like some people don't want to laugh. Oh, I mean, I'm all up for a tough trail. This country is a breeding ground for guns. It's like this one guy the other night at my show, he really threw me off. He's got a big heavy set guy with a GA jersey. He came up to me at the end of the gig in tears. As though, I, what, what was I supposed to do? Not acknowledge that he was shit? Wasn't even there with anyone. I was like, what are you even here for me? And as far as I'm concerned, even though he didn't say it, it was a form of heckling. So, I heckled him back. I got the whole audience to kind of chant his name. As he walked out, he was walking out of the aisle, big glum head. Him. <laughs> and they kind of gained so many energy back, if not all. All I want to do is like make his life by living in hell. So it's the day before the big day and I'm just parked up here in the square surveying my kingdom making sure no one does any kind of funny business to put the town's title in jeopardy. So I'm... Ginger! Ginger! Ginger over here it's me Martin! Oh, How are you doing Ginger? Are you well? How are you keeping? I'm well. Come here to me. Do you want, would you like to go for an, a bite to eat? And now soup and a sandwich or something? Oh, uh, no. Different, different way yourself, mate. I found a potato on the road. No, no, Jesus Christ, don't eat that. that Jesus, you wouldn't know what to get off that. Put that, put that down. It's a perfectly fine potato, like the size put, of it. Potato, you're bringing that in my car. I'll tell you what, I'll bring it for a car every lunch or a soup and a sandwich or something. Would you like that? A ham sandwich and a bit of tomato soup. Just let me have one bite. You will, don't bite it. You'll ruin your appetite. Hello, Sinead, is it? I'm, I'm Mick. How are you now? How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the Lost Mind. You know, Martin, no, no introductions necessary. <laughs> so, basically, let me explain to you what it, this is. Basically, we're helping Martin with his mental health, which fucking, as you know, is not the best. And uh, we just thought we'd get a bit of more insight into his, uh, into the old noggin there and ask you about it. And I can tell that it's really upsetting you. And I'm really sorry. I probably shouldn't have lied to you about why, it, why you were coming here. Sorry, are you Look at him, it's Christ, this is... Psychiatrist or... Hey, how's it going? Uh, Miklaus, we haven't met. What's your name? Uh, Who are you? Cormac. Cormac, how are you doing? Uh, what's, so, what's your credentials? What's going on? My credentials are, I am presenting this program. I'm literally a mental health professional, so 